here's my thought. Uh, we may not get the full um, story or visual story of what happened that night. I would have liked to have seen it. Perhaps it may get revisited again if one day they they introduce a Bushman and perhaps to comp whoever he is. Um, but I was satisfied because they kept them pretty close to the comic book origin. So that was satisfactory. What I would have liked to have seen what happened on that night, but because of how, the, what, because of what they were doing with the memories and going back, I understand they wouldn't have enough time to really show what really happened there it would be too much to go into. Um, so I was la left satisfied, at least with um, a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to see the actual um, probably is too much for Disney. Who knows? Um, so this is the way they went about telling that that origin story. I can give um, you some but, knowledge on that. So okay. Jeremy Slater said in the original pitch to Kevin Feige, Bushman was the main villain of the show. And the final fight was supposed to be Bushman as the other avatar fighting Mark Spector as his avatar. And that's all been wiped out. So Bushman is the Bushman was written. He exists. It's yeah, somewhere yeah. out there. Yeah. But they they wound up changing course, which led to the Ethan Hawk arrow choice instead. But I thought that was interesting that Bushman was actually the main villain of the show in the mm -hmm, pitch mm -hmm. they do you like the call of doing it the way they're doing that they're doing it now well it's hard to say because we don't know how this one's going to end mm -hmm. and i hope it doesn't totally end with an avatar on avatar fight although it looks Arrow, like it obviously be. has been kind of angling to be Amit's avatar so maybe it will but when he described it that way i was kind of like yeah i'm kind of satisfied that we didn't stick to that formula as much mm -hmm. um but I also, one thing I thought was also interesting was Layla in this show was originally supposed to be Echo. Oh. And that was actually a Marvel call, not the showrunner call. They wanted to put Alakwa Cox's character in this show, not in Hawkeye, which I don't think would have worked yeah right like can you now that we've seen that character i don't think it i think the layla character works better yes so slater said along the way as they were developing hawkeye marvel in classic marvel fashion made the pivot to say you know what echo is a more natural fit in the hawkeye show where we got kingpin and we got entry point to daredevil and <laughs> slater's response was when we got that call he's like our only response was thank god <laughs> he's like we didn't know how to make this work yeah yeah so that i thought was fascinating like the what if hey man these are the things that you got to appreciate i mean i i i would assume that not all of kevin feige's ideas went through i think kevin kevin feige is level-headed enough to listen to reason and understand that certain things wouldn't work because not all of his ideas were went through uh, to the final stage. Um, so that's one of the things I appreciate with uh, that whole situation over there in the MCU. Um, what did you think about this episode from the standpoint of four or five? Let's say the, let, let's combine them and like, let's say like once we enter the asylum, which is in four, and then we carry it through to five. What was your reaction, if you can remember, like when he gets shot in episode four and then we transition to the asylum and the show just completely changes? Like, what was your like initial reaction to how they played that? I was asking, what, I, I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, what, what? I'm like, what? And I'm like, nah, this can't. Something else is going on, but let me, let me just follow along to see what's going on. Um, but my initial reaction was like, what the hell is going on? And 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 that's what one of the things I love about the show is like, 
you never know what's really happening because some when it, when it gets to something uh, uh, an extreme situation for his character it all of a sudden changed and you don't know what happened but it keeps you interested enough to continue along this journey to reach certain ends that you don't know the result of because something happens and you don't know what it is so that was i, I guess towards the end once i saw the hip i said um i think i know what's happening especially when i saw that the both marks were out they were seen looking at each other i, I right. think i understood what was going on and i think it was confirmed by the multiple um youtubers that that have uh, uh explained where they were um and i think episode five explains it anyway so i think this was also a classic case of doing something that's very comics faithful but I think is also very creative for a mainstream audience that's just sort of tuning in and following along. So this storyline actually was in the Moon Knight comics, this idea of he's trapped inside a mental, he's, he's trapped inside his own mind, which becomes a mental institution out of which he has to kind of assemble his various personalities and break out. That was literally lifted straight from the Moon Knight comics. But given that Moon Knight as a comic character is not necessarily as I profile as say like a Spider-Man or, you know, a, a Superman. Like, I don't think most people watching it would be like aware of that. So for them, it's more just the creativity of like the turn mm. that the show took, right? Which is kind of cool. So, but they did it in a way that was comics faithful. And in a weird way, again, Arthur Harrow is not a high profile villain, but he actually finally gets to be Dr. Harrow in episodes four and five, which is his true comics inspired uh, yeah. character, which was actually kind of cool. And I think Hawk, you know, was just sort of, you know, eating up his scenes as sort of the evil sort of clinician, if you will. And yeah. um, and I, I love the scenes in the office. I love sort of Mark's disorientation, his behavior, and Hawk's just sort of menacing but reassuring. It's what you li- the show lives for is when the two of them are like face to face, and yeah. that's all you you're focused on. I, I think it's it's some really high points, and I think spe- again it speaks to like. Marvel TV has sometimes been at its best when less is happening, right? It's like when Kang is talking to Loki and Sylvie, that's awesome TV. I, yo, I right? watched that episode. I watched that piece. I fast forward through everything and just watch those conversations, you know? Right. That, that's it. And that's what I mean by not, I'm not missing the Moon Knight actual avatar. I just, yeah. I want to see these two guys just kind of like match wits and match emotions and do their thing like that's a real special thing now i have a i have a, a, a random a, a different question for you mm-hmm. before we even talk about like w- what you want to see from the finale which has been a challenge for marvel watching this show as as gripping as it's been has made me less inclined to want a season two i don't know if that makes total sense but i just feel like this material has been pretty serious pretty different and it just i'm not totally sure where you go from here in a way that makes me super invested or excited to come. I almost feel like this is a really good limited series. And if you want to carry Moon Knight into other franchises, great. But if you want to make Moon Knight season two, I don't know that you can do it from what I've seen in episodes four and five. I don't know what your thoughts are on that. It, um, I think it would all depend on how they end the season. I think they're going to end it so that it doesn't warrant a, a cliff. There's no cliffhanger. Okay. Right? Um, I don't think there will be. Um, I think it will be, be pretty hard to follow up on this season. Because there's a range of emotions, right? Um, could they have gone another season? Because remember, he does have other personalities, I believe, that he could manifest. Mm-hmm. So, um, if they thought of that or they wanted to do that, the possibility was there. But it seems like Oscar Isaac uh, didn't want to go beyond um, this first um, outing. And who know? I don't know. Um, I don't think we'll get a second season. I don't think it's needed. But I do want to see his character again. Um, yeah, I think it, I think you're right. I think if they did it, it would be a radically different show. 
Like it's, it, it would be called Moon Knight season two, but in all ways, it would not be anything like this. I just yeah. don't think you could do this yeah. again. Yeah. Like in a way that I think there's a little more, like the Loki show, there's a little more repeatability to some of what yeah. they did. Yeah. But Slater said something that I thought was so true about the show in retrospect, which was they said from the beginning when they pitched it to Feige, they pitched it with the idea that Steven would be the entry point to Mark's origin, not the other way around. And they said that they felt they had to do that because they wanted to give a lead in that had a little bit more of the Indiana Jones and like Brendan Fraser mummy style as a way to make you kind of care about the Steven character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that when they pivoted to the Mark character, you were like, they had earned the right to do that. And then I think what he was dead right on was by the end of episode five, when you see Steven fall off the boat, like there's a real emotion when he like, you're like, give me another boat, man. Don't, don't, don't get left behind. And like he gets, I don't think we're totally done with him, obviously, but like yeah, yeah. when he is seemingly left behind, you're like, man, I don't want to lose that guy. Yeah, like as, yeah, as yeah. weird and as weak as he seemed to be in some ways, like I've become pretty invested in, in that character, Grant, you know, the, the character. So yeah, no, it made total even, sense. When he's explaining. Even like when you, I guess when you get his, uh, I don't know for how, I, I, I think what we saw was the first manifestation of Stephen uh, Grant when he was a kid. Uh, well, you see the moment where Stephen Grant is invented because of his mother's abuse of him. That was pretty touching stuff, man. That was pretty tough That's stuff. I mean. it was, yeah, it was dark. Yeah, and it's and I think it's like I'm not a I'm not a clinician, so I don't want to overstep. But I think it's yeah. lifted from things that studies have shown about how children in that situation deal with that reality. Yeah. This is inspired by that. So yeah, that was rough stuff. Um, but again, Oscar Isaac when when Stevens character says you're is it's it, it'll be your fault if something happens to Layla and then he goes buck wild yo I'm telling you man if he doesn't win something for this performance man it'll be a travesty because he re he's really showing a range that to me like wonderful to see he's getting nominated I can't see any way he's not at this point. I mean, this is, you know, we're approaching sort of tour de force type performance level where like, it's just, this is the kind of thing that gets recognized and he's doing a great job. And like I said, he's getting you invested in multiple sides of the same character. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's hard to do. So I'm, I'm, I'm really hopeful the finale does not revert to the Marvel formula of we got to have the big explosions now we got to have the big fight now I know there's some sort of showdown coming but I'd be all for that showdown being much more of an, a mental and emotional showdown that would almost feel more fitting for what this has been versus like the avatar on avatar you know boxing match that Slater said the original version had so see where they go but as always, Marvel's got you ready for a finale, and then you're just nervous that it's not gonna measure up. But yeah. it's been a good show. It's been a different show. It's been a good show, man. It's still my second, probably still my second favorite MCU show on Disney Plus through five episodes. Do you think we got a, a, a glimpse of that other uh, uh, personality? With, with the guy with the broken nose, he, he was gonna. It looked like he was gonna stab him with something, and they came to get him. This, th I'm assuming there's a payoff to this in the finale because they keep giving you this little snippet of, in the comics, there's always a fourth, right? There's the mm. costume, there's, there's Mark, and then there's two others. And so Jake Lockley is the one that usually gets referenced as sort of the more sadistic, evil, murderous version of, of the character. And like, yeah, we've seen constantly in every episode something that signals that have to think that that's not an accident there has to be some yeah, yeah. unveiling of that and maybe a way to let oscar isaac play this character one more way before this show is over um so if they don't it will feel i mean unless 
see, unless they feel like that's the entry point to season two, but that would be feel weird if the show wasn't guaranteed a season two and then they kind of left that out there. So that has to get addressed in the finale somehow, I think. Yeah, yeah I mean, and being that we got so little of that character, I mean, could a season two be, imagine all the stuff that that guy does. Oh, no. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A season two of that and him, ha his personality is having to deal with the stuff that he's done. That there's a lot, there's a lot of story there, but let's see. I, I don't know if we're going to get a season two of this. I doubt it based on what they said um, and how things uh, transpired and getting this show done. But um, uh, I'm very excited for the last and final episode of this uh, show. Um, Let's see. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they can land the plane. Hopefully they can do a good job of um, finishing this episode. I mean, this season or this series off uh, on a good note. Um, so, yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of this. Uh, the show Moon Knight, man, is everybody keeps talking about this. This show being fantastic, Brian. Yeah, just congrats to Marvel for greenlighting. This is what I mean by the experimentation in phase four. And congrats to Marvel for trying this. This is this is definitely a field of what we've seen, and I, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. Um, thanks again for joining us. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button, share with your friends, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report.